Hey guys, so today's tutorial is on the Steep Plum and Gunmetal Shimmery Smoky Eye. I complemented it with mauve lipstick for a more modern approach to fall. So let's get started on this transformation. I'm applying a blurring primer and I'm concentrating it on my nose and forehead where I have more visible pores increasing. This will give a smoother look because I'm going to be using a brush to apply this Ultra HD foundation, which tends to look better with a sponge, but I'm using this super soft and dense one since it gives me the amount of coverage that I want. And I'm tapping the brush over most of the areas for more coverage, and I just buff in the edges to sheer it out a little bit more. And this has become one of my favorite brushes to apply foundation since the size makes it quick to use and the density allows me to stipple in the foundation more smoothly. And even though I'm doing a smoky eye, I still start with foundation because when I do a full nighttime look, I like to start with a blank canvas. So I make sure to get the foundation over my eyelids too, just so I can even out my skin tone everywhere. I'm filling in my brows using the same routine as my last video, always moving the pencil and brush in the same direction as the hair so that I don't have any unnatural marks in my brows. Moving on to the Cool Tone Smoky Eye. The key to making cool tones wearable for everyone is to keep the colors dimensional and saturated. If they skew very muted and flat, it can be harsh on those of us with warm undertones. These are the colors we're using and the purple and shimmer add life to this look. I'm taking the IT Cosmetics Airbrush Blending Crease Brush into Combust and applying a wash of color above the crease from inner corner to outer corner. And this pinkish nude will frame the rest of the colors and add in that saturation that just makes the look more wearable. With the Sigma E32 Exact Blend Brush, I'm somewhat precisely applying this gray color to the outer crease and outer corner, keeping it mostly concentrated in that crease. Then I'm applying it to the inner crease, bringing it onto the lid, but avoiding the tear duct area. I'm taking a pointed fluffy brush into the crease, blending back and forth to bring those placements together in a contained way, while keeping the inner and outer corners the most concentrated areas. On this flat synthetic brush, I'm picking up the blackened plum and patting it onto the outer third of the lid. Then I'm taking the edge of the brush through the crease all the way to the inner corner. With the flat side, I'm applying this color onto the inner third of the lid, but again, not onto the tear duct. Now I'm just going to blend that into the crease with my pointed crease brush just to contain the blend a little bit. Using the same brush, I'm swiping this shimmery taupe gray over the center of the lid for a wash of color, and then I'm gonna blend it in, apply it again a little bit more concentrated over the center, and just repeat that. I find that with these halo spotlight placements, if you have a really high contrast on the center of the lid, it can make the eyeball look so round that the eyes end up looking smaller. So I'm just keeping it a little bit softer in terms of contrast. But I do still want a little extra brightness in the center, so I'm also dipping into this light bluish gray and popping that onto the center of the lid. For my liner, I'm using the Makeup Forever Matte Black Artist Liner and just shoving that right into the tight line. It looks kind of gruesome, but it's not. And I made sure to get in between all the lashes and into the tear duct too. And now I'm just lining the upper lid and blending that out with a pencil brush, bringing that into the outer corner to just to darken it a little bit. 
And if you're looking for a good liner for your waterline, this is actually a really great option. It's not super creamy, but it stays put forever, which is an issue for me because I have a lot of allergies and I get teary. So now on to concealer. I mixed the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in Light Warm, which is a thinner consistency that I'm using to brighten, and the Laura Mercier High Coverage Concealer in 3.5, which is a thicker consistency. And I applied that with the Bare Minerals Max Coverage Concealer Brush under the eye and then blended it out with the sponge. I am loving this combination right now. And then I'm also going to apply a little bit extra concealer right into the darkest part, patting it in and not buffing it out. And this trick is great for those of us with more obvious tear troughs to make the under eye look a little bit smoother. I'm setting with this peach powder, which will even out the color so that the highlight isn't too light while still keeping the brightness as it starts to wear off. And then with a pencil brush, I'm smudging out the lower lash line with this cool black satin and then blending that out a little bit with the purple shade for balance. And I'm also deepening the outer corner with Black Market. Now I'm applying mascara to the top and bottom lashes since I'm going to be wearing mink ones that I don't wanna mess up by getting mascara on them. I also applied slanted to the inner tear duct but apparently lost that clip. And then I generously coat those bottom lashes to balance out the dramatic lashes that I'm going to apply. And again, this is the Sigma Beauty High Caliber Lash Mascara. These Lily Lashes are full and long and just gorgeous. Um, the extra part of the band needs to be cut off just so they're more comfortable and less obvious. I just drop them on the lashes as close as possible to the lash line and tuck in both corners and pinch with my natural lashes and make sure that they're lifted. And Lily says that these are more than just lashes, they're a lifestyle and I feel her on that. I'm reality TV ready. So of course, I'm going to contour now. I'm using only the contour side of this Lancome highlighting and contour stick, placing the color where I naturally have a shadow and then bringing it back toward the top of my ear. Then I blend out with the Zoeva Face Paint Brush. This actually is made for powders, but the contour stick is really creamy and blends better with a fluffier brush or a sponge. A buffing brush will just remove too much product. For my face shape, I apply it on the side of my jaw and then blend that in well towards my chin. This is one of my favorite highlighters ever. The vanilla shade is not quite matte, more of a satin, but it's very subtle, so it makes it great for brightening under the eyes. Since this is to wear out in unpredictable lighting, I'm following the structure of the nose, just bringing it in slightly, and I blend the lines in vertically and towards the center of the nose, but most of the work is done by brightening up the sides, which is why I needed to define the tip. Applying that vanilla powder over the sides visually brings the cheeks together and it brightens the shadows on the sides of the nose to make it all appear a little bit narrower. For blush, I applied the Ambient Lighting Powder in Mood Exposure, which gives a little bit of a subtle glow and is a nice plum color. And now I'm taking Portofino, the shimmery champagne side of the Laura Geller Duo onto the tops of the cheekbones in a C shape, and I stop just under the arch of the brow. And I also bring it to the top and the tip of the nose to help further define it. On my lips, I applied this mauve lipstick which pairs perfectly with the purple grays and the slight pink in the eye look. And that's the finished cool toned transformation. I did a lot with the contouring and lashes, so I tried to keep the foundation coverage lighter to keep it from looking too overdone. It's shimmery and glowing, but still fall appropriate. So thank you for watching. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you did, like the video, subscribe, check out my Instagram, you all know. For a full list of everything used, you can check the description or my blog. And leave me a comment. Let me know if you prefer warm tones or cool tones. Okay, see you all soon. Bye. Look, you, oh my God, stop messing with your hair, Catherine. I need a wig or something. <laughs>